Hi there, everyone. This is Dana Chris Alice, and this is Let's Play Bonus Content. Today we're going to show off some stuff that people probably didn't get to see in Saga Frontier 2 for the PlayStation. This here, what I have, is a pocket station, which is generally not seen in the U.S. unless you're an importer. A few of the U.S. games, such as Final Fantasy VIII and Saga Frontier 2, had mini games in which you could unlock items to use in the actual game. The idea unfortunately never really took off in the US because the PS2 was coming out soon, they didn't decide uh, they decided that the accessory wasn't really worthwhile for them to put out. So this is the pocket station. It does very basic stuff. It works like a normal memory card if you wish to put things in it, and this is how you do so. So just has one button and then a directional pad and a pixel screen uh, LCD and then here's the game go go digger it's only got a couple of commands you can pick your digger you can look at the items that are inside of it you can send and receive through the infrared port if you have another person with a pocket station which is unlikely so we're gonna go to the digger this one's name is Cap. He's the first one that you can pick up in Sock Frontier 2. He's hidden in a drawer in the first uh, controllable scene with Gustav. You, what you do is you set the amount of time you want them to dig. And then they start digging. He's your typical digger. He's got his doofy hat and a miner pick. And the clock is ticking. Now this guy's a lazy bum and he will constantly go to sleep so you have to watch out see there he goes and whenever that happens you have to press the button to wake him up and make him start digging again if you press any of the directional buttons it will speed him up and also speed up the time counter as well so you get done faster but I'm not a slave driver so I'm not going to do that so a couple of the diggers will also get angry and the same thing applies you just press the button to calm them down and occasionally they will even run away from you. Now when the timer guts down you will see somebody pop up hopefully. There's a little picture of Ginny who you haven't seen yet but she's like yay you found something. We found a sword. No idea what sword and you won't know until we upload it to the game. But we will take it. If you go to the item menu, you'll look through here. I've got quite a few items already stored on here. Got swords, axes, more swords, more axes, staves, bows, shields, ring accessories, and that's pretty much it. In order to get out of the game, all you have to do hold down the button long enough and it'll come up to the continue or exit menu now here no one's really sure what determines how you dig it up now it, whether you speed it up it helps or if you do more time will it find a better item no one's really sure because nobody has done enough experimentation with it nobody's really worth the bother so Generally, I will just be doing one-minute trials to get all the items for the playthrough. And hopefully, that will be enough. And that's really it for this game, as such as it is. I hope you enjoyed the bonus content for the Saga Frontier 2 Let's Play.